What's going on everyone? Today we're going to talk about a 2017 Sidewinder Rattlesnake Bite on Eric Farr. Now before we begin and show the footage and everything, just know I do not want any negativity here. He's allowing me to use this footage to educate and talk about it. And I know he's gotten a lot of hate in the past, so just keep it to yourself here. Now how I'm going to do this, I'm going to show the footage with some commentary and then we're going to discuss some areas where that caused the bite, some factors that led up to it, and I'm going to give some examples as well. So let's get to it. Okay, now we got Wider's Winder out. So he's, um, if you look at his rattler here, uh, that's about 10 buttons. So he's pretty much full grown. He's uh, shed once for me. So the first thing we're going to mention is free handling. Now, for those that don't know, free handling is using just your hands, no tools, while handling a venomous snake. Now, I have no problem with free handling. My boss does it. He's been handling snakes for 50 plus years, never been bit while handling. So, yeah, no problem with free handling. The thing with Eric, he mentioned to me that he did it for the wrong reasons. For likes, for ego. So, I remember back in 2017... Just seeing him with different snakes free handling, and it's, it was clear that he was just doing it just to do it. Not actually knowing the snake or anything like that. So, yeah, free handling. But we're going to keep going and talk about the next point when it comes up. I don't know if y'all can see here, but we'll see, uh, can see if he sidelines a little bit. I don't know if y'all can see that from there. So here is the biggest mistake setting the snake on the ground. Now I'm going to show you an example of what I'm about to say using my Gaboon Viper. So I'm going to show you an example after the footage and everything. Biggest mistake, setting the snake on the ground. Putting the snake on the ground cause it to go back to the wild. If that makes sense. Cause it to be defensive. Completely different animal. Even good snakes with great personalities Take them, like I said, different location, or even just placing on the ground can cause them to act completely different. So we're going to continue because there's some other things that come up, as you'll see. Yeah, I see really good side of them. Ooh, really fast, really fast. Ah, 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 ah. Come here. So as you saw, the snake bolted. There's one sign that it's on edge. It's ready. It's uneasy. And then he ran after it approached it of course it's gonna make the snake even more defensive now i'm gonna show the rest of it and we'll talk some more got bit all right so i'm gonna play that whole thing back from it on the ground to the bite and then the aftermath him talking the next day I believe and showing a picture of his hand and then we're going to talk about two situations and then I'm going to show you the example too with the Gaboon Viper. Okay guys, I'm getting like a hundred text messages from friends and family, so I'm going to do one video to show uh, I, I can't reply anymore. Um, as you know, y'all saw I got bit by my Sidewinder yesterday. Um, he tagged me right here, most of you saw the video. Uh, as you can see, massive swelling on my arm here uh, compared to this. Uh, I cannot move it. It is red to the touch, uh, hard as a rock. Uh, I got 12 vials of antivenom. Um, I was on Dilaudid all day. I was there for about 24 hours. Um, as I said to most people, my snake handling days are done. I've already got a buyer to buy all of them. He's going to come pick them up. Now we're going to talk about two situations. You saw the snake bolting. I've mentioned it many times. If you just reach down when a snake's bolting like instinct, they can whip around and bite you if they want. Now, it does seem like he grabbed a hook and used the hook, but again, it's in that mode of 
being scared, being approached, and then reaching his hand out again, trigger a bite. Now, like I mentioned, my boss has many years experience, 50 plus years. He mentioned about, again, setting the snake on the ground. And I'm going to show you with this Gaboon Viper. You can see how calm it is, right? I'm going to set it on the ground. You're going to see different behavior. You can hear the huffing. Now, let me approach it, okay? Okay, approaching. It's starting to panic. But you can see. But as you can see, back in my hand, calm again. And that wasn't the best display, but I wanted to show it regardless if it happened or not. I wanted to show you how quick it can go like that. Usually it gets a lot more scared. And panics a lot more when it's on the ground but you still saw an example of how quick it can change now i asked eric if he had any lasting effects this, again this happened in 2017 he said there are no lasting effects to this day another thing i want to say thank you eric for allowing me to use this footage and to talk about it now if you want to discuss it in the comments let's discuss it subscribe for more Take care, everyone. Okay.